From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel and this is your daily afternoon news brief for Thursday. The Laurel County Sheriff's Office recently arrested a man for causing a traffic hazard on a busy roadway. The incident occurred off Highway 1376 around 11 p.m. Police located concrete blocks and broken pieces of 2 by 4s in the road along with 29-year-old Kenneth Castile sitting on the broken piece of wood in the middle of the street. Castile reportedly took on an aggressive stance with police and began screaming at them causing a disturbance. Following a brief scuffle, Castile was taken into custody. He was charged with second-degree disorderly conduct, second-degree wanton endangerment, public intoxication, and resisting arrest. Continuing with our interviews with World War II veterans for this day of remembrance of D-Day, WBONTV went down to Old Dominion's senior home at Morning Point in Richmond to speak to Sergeant Fletcher Williams, a well-decorated soldier who was right there during the infamous invasion in France. Fletcher sat down with us, as well as Mayor Robert Blythe and Commissioners Jason Morgan and Ed McDaniel to tell us his story, including his memories of flying in a glider at the age of 20 with dozens of other soldiers directly over the beaches as his comrades stormed Normandy. WBONTV thanks all veterans like Fletcher on this day of remembrance for their service to the country. And today, BONTV was at the Richmond Chamber of Commerce breakfast this morning. Watch our story up now with Program Director at the Kentucky Environmental Foundation, Craig Williams, as he speaks on the destruction of the chemical weapons in Kentucky at the Bluegrass Army Depot, which is set to begin this month after many years of preparation. A total of five people were arrested Tuesday evening while investigating a drug complaint in Laurel County. According to deputies, a man was in possession of digital scales, a large sum of money, marijuana, and nearly 90 guns, two of which were allegedly stolen. According to police, the suspect, 69-year-old Donald Jones, is a convicted felon. While arresting Jones, four other individuals pulled up into his driveway. Jones was charged with possession of a handgun by a convicted felon, two counts of receiving stolen property, as well as trafficking marijuana. Also, Eddie Winburn and Heather R. Sizemore were charged with operating a motor vehicle under the influence. In addition as well, Kirsten Ashley Swanner was charged with operating a motor vehicle under the influence, possession of controlled substance, and possession of marijuana. And there was another arrest. Robin Weaver was charged with operating a motor vehicle under the influence, possession of drug paraphernalia, and marijuana as well. All five were lodged in the Laurel County Detention Center. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.